escape. Summer was coming to an end on the Northwestern Railway. The island began to feel the nice autumn breeze blow away the hot summer heat. However, there was still a lot of work for the engines to do. Sometimes, they strained with too much work. One morning, the fat controller came to see his engines. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying I'm happy with you all for continuing to work hard despite this unseasonably warm weather. However, Edward, I'm sending you to the works to get your warm parts mended. You put in an outstanding effort this season and I want to make sure you're in top shape for the colder months. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And with that, the fat controller left. Edward felt sorry for the other engines. Gordon, Henry and James glared at him. Oh, that's just great. That means more work for us. Puh, Edward's so old it's not like he helped much anyway. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to fetch your own coaches now. Oh, please, that's a job for you silly tank engines. Tender engines don't shunt. It's... it's... disgraceful. Disgusting! Despicable! Oh, don't listen to them, Edward. We'll manage just fine. Good luck. Thanks, Thomas. Edward smiled and puffed away. When he arrived at the works, he saw something that caught his eye. Well, I never. Hello there, Oliver. Edward? Is that you? Yes, it is. I haven't seen you since we helped build that station on the mainland. Oh, that's right. But weren't you painted red? <laughs> oh, yes, I was. But I was repainted blue when I arrived here. Doesn't it look smart? Oh, yes, it does. It's been so long. How did you even get here? Well, it's a bit of a long story, but I'm sure we have time. And Oliver began his story. It was during the time when Diesel started to take over the other railway. Mostly, Diesel's often passed on the main line while I worked on the branch line. Whenever I saw them, they would always boast about themselves and how their kind was going to take over all railways. I ignored it, thinking that they were wrong. However, I was the one who was wrong. Soon, more diesels began showing up on the line, and many of my friends were sold off to other places. My manager came up to me one morning and told me he was retiring. You will love your new owner, he chuckled. I was nervous. The next morning, I met the new manager. He walked up to me with a very stern look. Just as I thought, old and worthless. Or make arrangements to have you sent away and cut up as soon as possible. No sense having such clapped out things working on this line. People pay to have smooth and comfortable journeys. It's a service only diesels can provide, not a dirty out of date steam train. Out with the old. <laughs> That night, I was shunted to my shed. I told you it was only a matter of time, Steva. At least be grateful knowing you were the last to fall. <laughs> my driver and fireman got me oiled and greased one last time. <sighs> we'll miss you, old boy. We hope you'll become preserved. Just as they were about to leave, a piece of paper flew into my driver's Dad. face. What the... It was an advertisement for the island of Sodor. I've heard of this place. People say it's some sort of safe haven for steam engines. This might be your lucky break, Oliver. If we can get you to the island of Sodor, you might just be able to have a new life there. Knowing would be a fighting chance to survive, my crew quickly lit my fire and we then went to go get my coach, Isabel. Oliver! 
Glover, where are we? Shh. We're getting out of here. That new manager is planning to scrap us. S scrap? Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. Hmm. It seems that it was a tough challenge to get you here. It was, but it was worth it. Now, as I was saying, it was getting late, so my crew decided to pull into a side and to have a rest. Right then, we'll stop here for tonight, and then continue on tomorrow. Suddenly, there was a loud horn. <coughs> And another large diesel rolled up. Aha! Thought you could get away, clapped out little Oliver. Not on our watch. You'll get to what's coming to you this time. <laughs> he buffered up to me and dragged us all the way back to my old line. I was lucky he shunted me into a particular siding. The new manager was waiting for me. Nice try, Oliver. You're not getting away from here. You'll be sent to the scrapyard tomorrow morning. What he hadn't noticed was my crew hiding inside Isabel. When he had left, they snuck out and began to raise steam again. And just as we were about to leave, I heard a distant voice. Oh, I say, hello. Who said that? Over here. I did, sir. My name is Toad. Where, might I ask, are you going? Escaping to the Northwestern Railway. Any chance I can come, please, sir? They're sending me to be melted down too tomorrow, and that'll never do. I had seen him sitting there for at least a couple of months. I was hesitant, but I knew I'd never be able to forgive myself if I left him behind. <laughs> Indeed it won't. So I coupled him up, and we headed north. We travelled a long way. Friendly signalmen let us pass through and there weren't any trains. But soon, word began to get around about a mystery train roaming the main line at night. quickly made stopping for coal and water even riskier. Furnace, ten miles. The border isn't far past that. I just hope we can hold out until then. Just as we thought we were finally in the clear, I came to a sudden halt. I had no goal left. Oh no, we were so close. But that was the least of our worries. Oi, what are you doing around here? Um, just t t t taking a train. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're that mystery train. <laughs> Caught at last. <laughs> our luck had run out. 
The diesel alerted the signalman up the line. When word reached the manager, he had my crew arrested and I was dragged to the scrapyard. They shunted me roughly into an old shed. I was there for a long, long time. I had hoped we would manage to be rescued, but days turned into weeks and nothing. I'm sorry I dragged you two into this. I really thought we could make it. Don't blame yourself, Oliver. You did your best. Oh, I just wish I could have done more. I really wish... Huh? Oh, I didn't want to stay here any longer. It makes me lazy. Oh, no, did I, laddie. Let's dump these trucks away and then we get going. I couldn't hear them very well, but I knew this might be my last chance. I took a deep breath and... <laughs> Who's there? Are you a Northwestern Railway engine? Aye, and proud of it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Oliver, and this is my coach Isabel and brake fan Toad. Hi. Hello there. We're trying to escape to your railway, but we have no more coal. Escaping? From what? Scrap! Come on, lad. We need to go home. Wait! I could see the resentment in Douglas's eyes. What he did next saved my life. <laughs> I'd be glad to help you. But we better make it look like you're really going for scrap, and I'm taking you away. So it was arranged. They took off my side rods and wrote scrap on my paintwork. There is no time to turn around. I'll run tender first. As we headed towards the end of the yard, we were stopped by a signalman. Hmm, a 042 steam engine, an auto coach, and a brake fan? You can't take those. Aye, but they're all for us. See for yourself. The driver handed the man some papers. He looked at them, then looked me over. <laughs> Ooh, don't bite me. Hmm, seems in order. Take them away then. I can't tell you how much this means to us. Thank you. Uh... You can call me Douglas. And didn't worry about it, lad. Engines help engines after all. I know how it feels to risk the cutter's torch. I ran away to Soda with my twin Dory. I'd be too afraid to do it on my own, though. You're quite an enterprising engine. Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Douglas. <laughs> Toad says thank you. <laughs> It was morning by the time we arrived on Sodor. After that, we were shunted into a siding. Well, I'm gonna go get some rest. I hope things go well for you. I was still nervous when Toad decided to speak up. Cheer up, Mr. Oliver. We came all this way, so there has to be a chance we'll be saved. Even though that cheered me up a little, I was still nervous. Later in the day, a stout looking man wearing a top hat examined me. Hmm, yes, just as I thought. A very fine piece of machinery. How would you like to be part of my railway? I beamed with excitement. Yes, oh yes please. Very well. I'll let you keep your great western signage as a homage to your heritage. <laughs> I know you will be a great example of my railway, and I'm sure your coach and brake van will appreciate that too. And that's how me, Isabel and Toad ended up here. Just then, a workman ran up. Come on Oliver, time for your steam test. Right sir. Nice catching up with you Edward, I'll see you around. You too, Oliver. Good luck. 
With that, Oliver steamed happily away. Oliver meant well, but he still had problems in doubting himself. But that's another story.